the visit, tell me doctor, am I really sick? He said I'm showing characteristics of being a snobby bitch. Yeah, I'm a hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. You guys are probably wondering, like, why is she on her bed? Usually, she's in front of her bed. But since this video is a little bit more laid back, a little bit more personal, I wanted to come over here, you know, to the bed with y'all. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what's on my iPhone XR. So, I've seen a lot of these videos going around YouTube where it's like, oh, what's on my iPhone XX Max, what's on my iPhone 7, what's on my iPhone whatever. So before I get started with this video, please make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. I'm going to scratch myself in the face. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the case that I have, and it is this Louis Vuitton case. Oh, it's not real. I got this from Amazon. This is my home screen where I just have all my regular apps, you know, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Messenger, all that stuff. Um, on here, I also have iMovie. The iPhone XR comes with iMovie. I just didn't want to take it off just in case I need to do, like, an Instagram video or anything like that. My editing apps which are airbrush which is a really good editing app if you don't want your editing to look too edited airbrush app is just where you pick a picture and you can do the magic tool or you can you know swipe over any acne or any scarring or anything like that so the next app that i have on here is facetune two i do not have facetune original because i don't like facetune original i pay for facetune I pay for Facetune 2 because I like the features of this one way better than the original Facetune. I don't edit my pictures like crazy, but sometimes, you know, you need to smooth your skin out and you gotta, you know, make your highlight a little bit brighter. Um, I also have Spotify. I don't have Apple Music because I got tired of paying for Apple Music. Yes, I had the student discount. No, I still didn't want to pay for it. One month, for some reason, there was no money in my account and my subscription got canceled, so I just like whatever i let it go and i got spotify which i pay for spotify but i get hulu with spotify so i'm like i might as well go ahead and get hulu for free going to the next app on here i'm gonna go ahead and scroll over because these are the apps that i use pretty often so i have twitter everybody has twitter and then i have my youtube and my youtube studio app I just use this to keep track of all of my uh, videos, I use this to keep track of how much money I'm making on YouTube, and I use this to check my comments on my videos and stuff like that. It's all the same things you can do on YouTube, but I can go in and edit my videos, monetize my videos, demonetize my videos, anything like that on this app. Moving on to the next app, I have Cash App because I need that money. Everybody should have Cash App and I have two notifications. Yeah, nobody. The next app that I have on here is Fonto. So basically on this app, I can go in and I can, oh, what am I doing? you know, take a picture and put words on it. So instead of me going to Snapchat and putting words on my pictures or anything like that, I can just go here and randomly like pick a picture. And it also gives you the option for filters and stuff like that. Go on here, add your text, blah, blah, blah. And then do that there are like different fonts on here different styles you can make it different colors and I just use that to edit like thumbnails and stuff like that next app is my flow app for my menstrual cycle <laughs> this is off this is inaccurate I just want y'all to know I'm not uh, no this is my flow app and um I actually had I actually got it put back on my phone from the last phone that I had and it didn't back up my data so I had to restart it so I had to just estimate when's the last time I started so it's reading really wrong right now but yeah I'm, I'm, I assure you I'm straight so the next app that I have on here is Poshmark and Poshmark is basically an app where you can buy and sell clothing um you can buy and sell designer clothing you can buy and sell name brand clothing we go to like my recent searches it's like gucci because you can get you a gucci bag or a gucci belt for the low on poshmark i don't care if it's second hand that don't got nothing to do with me at least i got it the next app that i have on here is my bank app and i'm not about to open up my bank app and show y'all how much money i got in the bank because y'all don't try to rob me everybody has to have their bank app if you have a card a debit card you need to have your app for your banks on your phone if your bank doesn't have an app you need to get a new bank so the next app that i have on here is pinterest and everybody loves Pinterest. Like, I need Pinterest 
to know what kind of nails I want to have. I need Pinterest to try new, like, foods. I need Pinterest to try new hairstyles because I've been running my hairstyle, as you can see. And what are my favorite apps? BitLife. Y'all, BitLife is so much fun. Like, it really seems boring if you don't know what it is, but I promise it's, like, so much fun. BitLife is just an app where I can um, be anybody I want to be, and I can choose, you know, to age up, and I can pick how I want to react to certain situations, and you kind of just age up like that and make money, and it's super fun. If you don't have this app, definitely should get it. I'm probably going to do a BitLife video here soon. I don't know when, but I'm probably going to go ahead and do one because it's so much fun, especially when you hear people's commentary with it. It is hilarious. The next app that I have on here are just the basic apps, which is like the weather, you know, notes, reminders, stuff like that. Keep in mind this phone is new, so I really don't have anything in my notes or anything. Maps. And honestly, I don't like Apple Maps. I like Google Maps, but I haven't had a chance to download that in my phone yet because I haven't needed to go anywhere that I haven't been before. So, yeah. Just my regular calendar app, FaceTime. I have um, my camera app. I haven't taken off the ones that I don't need yet. So like GarageBand and Kino and all that. I really don't need that. So I'm probably going to take that off soon. Another app that I did miss is uh, Collageable. So I use this app to help me make thumbnails. If I want to put two pictures in... Uh, these are ugly, but I don't really care. If I want to put two pictures in a thumbnail, I'll just click this like that and adjust it to the 16 by 9 which is the perfect size for a thumbnail and then just add like two random pictures and then it makes it the size of the thumbnail and then I can go on Fonto, Photo, whatever it's called and add my words and all that stuff. So now I'm going to go ahead and go on to my regular social media apps. If you guys don't have me added on social media, please make sure you go ahead and go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You can also add me on Snapchat. I'm very friendly. I do add people back. I'm not bougie. I'm not going to be like, oh my god, why is this person adding me? I definitely will add you back, promise. So Instagram is like one of my favorite apps. My Instagram is not loading for some unknown reason okay but basically my instagram is a little dry i only got 5,000 followers so if you're new here or if you've been watching this channel give your girl a follow please it's not that hard it's not gonna kill you it's gonna make me feel better do that so going to one of my other favorite apps which is twitter i'm also pretty dead on twitter too so you know at underscore oh my god underscore only have 949 followers go ahead and give your girl a follow on there too please and thank you use twitter on like a daily basis along with instagram i also have facebook a lot of people don't use facebook anymore i do not care facebook is a funny app you have to have the right people on facebook to appreciate facebook i keep up with like people that i know from high school i guess and um you know family members and stuff like that and also other random people that i don't really know too well but that's beside the point that is basically all the apps that I have. I'm sorry if this video was super short. I really don't know how in depth to go with the apps in my phone. That's all I can do for you guys. I'm sorry. If you guys like this video, please make sure you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. I'm on with some pork with all.